So I'll be the first to admit, coming to the beach is not so exciting for me. Yeah, there's a surf, there's a sand, uh, but maybe a half an hour tops. However, if you tell me there's gonna be close to 400 Porsches that are gonna be on the boards here, now you've got my attention. Yeah, for those of us who are on the boards, we had like a three hour cars and coffee in the staging area, and it was a blast to meet Porsche owners and look at all the Porsches up close. So here we are at the third annual Boardwalk reunion, and we're gonna share our favorite Porsches. There's 400 of them, but we picked our favorites. Let's do it. Be sure to log into your YouTube account, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Best of all, it's free to do so. 928s have now classics, but finding early 928s in original shape, boy, that's really tough. And here we have one that's in copper brown metallic with the original Pasha interior. It looks like it just rolled off the showroom floor. And being a European model, this has a cool Euro H4 headlights, the original phone dials. It is something that you rarely see and kept in such beautiful condition. Many of you know I've been searching for a 356 for myself. A 356 coupe, man, would I love to own something like this. This is a 1961 356 that I would say is mildly outlawed. Check out the lowered front bumper. Look at, we were just talking about this on our podcast, wipers removed. Why? I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Look at the stance on the car. It's lower than your factory 356. Inside and out, this car looks immaculate. And I actually saw it coming onto the boards. I don't know exactly what has been done to the engine, but certainly doesn't sound stock. So I hope you enjoy it. This is one of my favorites. Porsche turns 75 next year. When this car was built, Porsche was only four years old as a company. It's a 52 pre-A coupe bent window. That means the window is actually in like two pieces. It's a beautiful example of what a 356 was in the early years. And it has a 1500 super engine, which didn't mount to a lot of horsepower, but back then it sure did. And wow, what an uh, incredible example. Probably one of the most popular cars here. It's not every day that you get to see an 89 Speedster, a G-body Speedster with the wide body. Look at the rake of the windshield, a very unique top. This is a beautiful car. And back here, you'll see, believe it or not, the Speedster script was not something that came original with the car. This must have been added by the dealer or by the owner. But what a beautiful treat it is. Now, this car looks good with the top up. So there you have it, the top's down. Actually, believe it or not, we have two 89 Speedsters in the same color. Who would have thought? Now this one actually is, belongs to Bob Gutyar, the chair of Boardwalk Reunion. And he's brought this out with 8,735 miles. It's a beautiful example, gorgeous car. Man, just one of the many favorites I'm, I'm seeing today on the boardwalk. So for the longest time, Porsche had Targas in their lineup. And that meant you take the top off and stow it away. But for a short period with the 993, 996, and 997, they actually changed it to a gigantic sliding sunroof that slid back and gave you an open air feeling while retaining the coupe look to it. Porsche eventually went back with the 991 with the top that would mechanically be stored away and more with the traditional Targa look. These are very rare cars, the 993 Targa. You, not many were sold, not many were made. So if you see one, appreciate it. So they built what they called the long hoods up until 73. These were the early 911s. And probably the most iconic is the 72. It had the 2.4 liter engine, plus it had the oil fill on the right hand side. That made it very recognizable. This car is in a beautiful single, signal yellow with the sport exhaust in the back, sport seats. It's the one to have. For those of you that are water-cooled fans, we have the latest example here. We have a 2020 992C4S. Just look at this thing. We'll start from the back, the beautiful tech art tips here. It has some sort of aero package, but obviously the biggest thing that stands out is the stance and the wheels. This car is riding on 21 inch front wheels, 22 inch rear wheels. It's a beautiful, beautiful car, carbon fiber roof. It doesn't get any better than this when you're talking about 992s. A family that plays together stays together. And the reason why I'm showcasing these three cars is actually because this belongs to the husband, this belongs to the wife, 
and that belongs to the parents. What a beautiful day to bring the whole family out and enjoy the boardwalk. As the cars were coming on the board, there was this young enthusiast standing next to me and I asked him, what are you most looking forward to seeing? And he said, I hope I get to see a GT3. Well, not only did he get to see a GT3, he got to see a GT3 in its launch colors. This is a shark blue GT3. What a gorgeous car. And the owner actually added a silver stripe accent. And what I like most about this car, it's a manual. In the late 80s, one of the hottest cars on the market with the hatchback was the 944 Turbo. Not only was it functional, but it was very fast. This beautiful example from 1988 actually has 430,000 miles on the chassis. The motor's been upgraded with the 944 Turbo S motor, which makes it a little bit more powerful, but still, the body, 430,000 miles. That's incredible. Another reason why we like it here at the Boardwalk Reunion. Now here's something you don't see every day, and here you see it on the boardwalk. This is a 2010 Trans-Siberia Cayenne. Obviously, you notice the knobby wheels, the ride height and such. There was less than 300 of these built, the Trans-Siberia. You may have seen them in black with orange script. You don't see meteor gray very often, and the reason being is this is one of 26. If you read the articles on PCA.org, you would have read, we did an article about Jerry Seinfeld's three favorite colors from the 70s. And this is one of the top ones, Mexico blue. This is on a 74 911 Carrera. And the Carrera came with the ducktail, with the short hood, had the 2.7 liter engine. But this Mexico blue just pops and stands out and looks perfect on this vintage car. So Manny, we've gone about three quarters of the way and we've shared with you a number of our favorites. We've still got a ways to go, but what we figured is, what, do we, what should we do? I think we should just let them watch the rest of the video. Uh, you actually recorded all the cars, most of the cars, coming onto the boards. So there you have it. You'll get to see almost every single car that came on the board today. Enjoy. Enjoy.